Hi, hi, hi! Hi, YouTube. It's me, Danny. Thanks so much for checking out this video. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. You don't know what you're missing. Um, so this is my first in a series of book reviews. I'm doing a challenge. It was a personal challenge that I decided to share on OK Danny, and it got a pretty nice response. Other folks are joining me. It's a 52 book challenge. You do not have to read 52 books <laughs> necessarily, but if you want to, you can. I just personally decided to, to challenge myself to read a book a week because it'll force me to read. Um, so all you do is read a book and then share about it on social media or your blog or YouTube, whatever you want, um, with the hashtag 52 book. What is the hashtag? 52 books in 2016. Yeah, I'm really together over here. Okay, so this book, oh my goodness gracious. Oh wait, before I tell you about the book, so how I operate is I get my books from the library and if I love the book or if I know it's something that I'm going to want to refer to a lot, I'll buy it. If, if I just love it, I'll buy it for Kindle. If it's something that I'm going to need to refer to like really quick on the fly, then I'll buy it hard, hard copy. It looks like I might be buying this book hard copy or, or maybe Kindle, depends. I haven't finished it yet to be fully honest with you, but um, I've used a lot of what's in it already. And some works, some hasn't, but let me just show you. Okay, so it's Positive Discipline. And it's by Jane Nelson, Lynn Lott, and Stephen Glenn. Or maybe Stephen Glenn. I don't know. With a PH, you never know how they're pronouncing it. Okay, so this book. <laughs> Rowan, I have a I have a son. He's three and a half. His name is Rowan. He's a honey badger. If you don't know the honey badger reference, look it up on YouTube. Honey badgers don't give a shit. I have a daughter, Kaya. She's about to turn two in a few days. She's also a honey badger. <laughs> they're both little monsters. I mean, they're sweet and awesome, but they're just little monsters when they want to be because they're children. Um, we are a no spank household. We, we don't do the physical discipline thing, so I'm always looking for ways to help them behave properly or just react properly, properly. Um, to situations without having to yell <laughs> or like threaten toys being taken or things like that. So this positive approach to parenting, as it says on the back, um, has been great and useless at the same time. Um, so the way the book is set up is really great. I love that if you want a quick, I wonder if you can see that. It is listed by the problem behavior. So back talk or sibling rivalry, demanding, depression, fears, fighting, all sorts of stuff. It is, it's an easy reference book. So my issues are with, I guess, the back talk and um, just throwing a hissy fit <laughs> out of nowhere, which is what a three-nager does and a t terrible two does, right? So um, I looked at some of the techniques and um, one that has about a 50-50 uh, positive record right now is to just yoke them up and hug them when they're going berserk. Um, Rowan will just throw a fit like out of nowhere. If I hand Kaya her milk cup before I hand him his milk cup, ah, boys first. It's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> and he'll like throw himself down and I used to laugh, which is horrible. I used to be like, what the hell's wrong with you? Get up. I wouldn't say what the hell, but you know, I'd be like, just get up. What's going on? And you know, he'll slowly get up or he'll just roll and like scream and hoot and holler. And you know, it's just like, why are you doing this child? Take your cup. Do you want the milk or not? Um, but so I gave Kaya her milk this one time and then I just scooped him up and hugged him. I was like, I love you. 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 And that time it worked. And he was like, can I have my milk, please? I gave him his milk. That was it. There was no talking about, we don't throw ourselves on the floor, which is like my old tactic and completely useless because he knows he's not supposed to throw himself on the floor. He just does it anyway. So it worked in that instance, but I tried another time and I just went to yoke him up and he was like, get off of me. <laughs> and I taught him about personal space. So he's like, my personal space. <sighs> so. I don't know. The things I'm teaching him are working against me now. Um, but so we're going to see. I'm going to keep trying it because I know sometimes you just want a hug and sometimes you're crying and you're fitful and you're sleepy. And you don't know what's going on and you're 
fucking three, you know? So I'm going to try the hugging thing again and see if it works. It works on Kaya. Um, Rowan's just more of a toughie. So that, um, one of the, one of the techniques is when, um, when your children aren't listening to you, one of the suggestions is to whisper. <laughs> I was like, okay, it's time for us to clean up the playroom because it's messy and we're going to get ready for dinner. Kaya turned around to me and whispered, no mommy. <laughs> I almost lost it. I had to just turn so she wouldn't see me laughing. <laughs> Cause it's like, I really, if she knew the word bitch, I think she'd have been like, uh, no bitch, we're playing, <laughs> you know? It was that kind of tone <laughs> from the almost two year old. So I will try it again because whispering for Rowan, it makes him feel like, okay, it's secret time. So I'm gonna be like, okay, we're all pirates. Now it's time to put away the treasure or something like that and see if it works. Because I, I do think the whispering technique can be effective. Um, there are some things in here that are a little too soft for me. Like if my kid is screaming and saying yucky words, me saying, I think I heard you incorrectly. Would you like to repeat that? Is not going to get him to say the right thing. It's going to get him to say the bad word again and laugh. And one of the other things that I tried from the book was um, when, uh, what was, I think it was for like not listening or, or when they're using back talk or bad words it's okay the tickle monster's coming for whoever's not listening that's going to make them not listen <laughs> they love getting tickled and so um those aren't for me those are for when it's fun and not like when i really need you to listen and let's go get your shoes on we got to do this you know so some of the stuff is soft but i'm not through it i'm not through with it so far i do like the book overall and what i love is that they've got stuff for every age range i have young ones, but there's stuff in here for, um, call me when you get to your friend's house. How are you going to get to this party? Who's picking you up? That kind of thing. And like communication, um, tactics for parents who have kids who are driving or kids who are, um, you know, taking themselves from here to there. Um, lots of stuff for teenagers with depression and mood and bullying and stuff like that. So this is kind of like a one-stop shop and I know that I will be referring to it. Um, I've had it for, less than a week and I've already tried some of the some of the um, tactics in here and for me it's great um, just because I can easily refer to it I told you it's broken down by by what the challenge or the issue is and also because I don't have to read this whole big tome <laughs> like I don't have to read the history behind this parenting tactic and blah 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 like I don't want that I want to know how to shut this kid up right now in a gentle kind and positive way <laughs> so that. So yeah, this has a thumbs up for me. Um, if you are looking for some type of positive discipline book, I would recommend it. Check it out. Get it from your library first, just in case you don't want to spend the money and then hate it. Um, but um, it's only $16.99 if you did, so it's not like it's breaking the bank. But it's a really good one. So it is by, again, Jane Nelson, Lynn Lott, and St Stephen or Stephen Glenn. It's called Positive Discipline A to Z. And it's got a thumbs up. What are you guys reading? I want to know. Any questions, leave them for me in the comments. I'm happy to answer. I'll leave all the information on the book down below too. And um, I think I might even do um, in a couple weeks a follow-up when I'm 100% through with the book and tell you about some of the tactics that have worked and haven't worked um, at that point. So I hope this was useful. Have a good one, guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Bye-bye. I did jazz hands. <laughs>